Lesson 26. Ask me a question. Question words. Hello, students. How are you today? Today, we're going to review questions, many questions. Now, first, Susan, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine. Are you feeling okay today, Ali? I feel great. Great. Isabel, what's up? Not much. Okay, good. And Susan, what did you do last night? I went out to dinner. And how did you get there? I went by taxi. And when did you get home? I got home at 9 o'clock. Ah, what a lot of questions I'm asking. I ask questions all the time. Today, we're going to look at the questions and ask more. Okay, now, first of all, when we ask questions, we often use question words. So, these are the question words. Okay, these words begin questions. We have who, what, when, where, which, whose, why, and how. These all begin questions. Now, question words tell us something that we want to know. We want to know, we ask a question. Now let's look at these one by one. First, we'll look at who. Now, who asks about a person? This is for a person, a man, woman, child, teacher, a person, okay? So here are some examples. Who has a green coat? The teacher has a green coat. Who has a green coat? The teacher has a green coat, okay? Another example, who is your best friend? My best friend is Susan. My best friend is Susan. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Susan. And one more example, who do you live with? I live with my parents. Who do you live with? I live with my parents. Okay? So this question is about a person, the teacher, Susan, or my parents. Okay? Now, the next one is what? Now, what is about a thing? Things or actions, okay? What is about things or actions? Here are some examples. What color is the coat? The color of the coat is green. What color is the coat? The color of the coat is green, all right? Another example. What are you wearing? I am wearing a hat. I am wearing a hat. I'm not wearing a hat, okay? What are you wearing? I'm wearing a hat. What? A hat. And one more. What's that? It is a computer. What's that? It is a computer. What's that? It's a computer. Okay, so what? Now, the next group of questions is about when. Here we go, when. Now, of course, you know when is about time. Time, right? Okay, here's some examples. When do we eat lunch? We eat lunch at noon. When? 
at noon. When did you go to Paris? I went last year. When did you go to Paris? I went last year. When are you going to go to France? I am going to go to France next July. When are you going to go to France? I'm going to go to France next July. Okay? Now, these are the time questions. Now, here comes another group. Where? Where is asking about a location or a place. Where? Okay, now here are some examples. Where is the coat? It's in the hall. Where is the coat? It's in the hall. Here's another example. Where is your pen? My pen is on the table. Where is your pen? My pen is on the table. My pen is on the table. And another one, where are they from? They are from Istanbul. Where are they from? They are from Istanbul. Okay? So where, and then we answer with the place. Okay, here comes another one. And now, we're going to talk about which. Which. Now, which is a choice. You have two. Which, the black one or the red one. Okay, so which is a choice. Now look at some examples. Which chair do you want? I want the green one, not the blue one. I want the green one, not the blue one. Okay, so which? Green or blue? Which is your favorite ice cream? Chocolate is my favorite ice cream. Which is your favorite ice cream? Chocolate is my favorite ice cream. Okay, and the next example, which one of them is your brother? The tall one is my brother. Which one of them is, my bro is your brother? The tall one is my brother. Okay, so it's a choice. Now, the next one is whose. Whose talks about possession. It has the idea of my, his, your. So, examples. Whose jacket is this? It's John's jacket. Whose jacket is this? It's John's jacket. Oh, okay, it shows possession. Whose car are you driving? I am driving my father's car. Whose car are you driving? I'm driving my father's car. And then whose pens are those? They are his pens. Whose pens are those? They are his pens. Now, be careful because we have two words that sound the same. One is whose, whose, which is possession. The other one, same sound, different meaning is whose. This means who is. Okay, very different. So, for example, we could say whose is that car? It is my car. Whose is that car? Possession. It is my car. For this one, who's he sitting next to? He's sitting next to the 
teacher. Okay? Same sound, different meaning. Whose, whose. Possession, who is. Okay? All right. Now, the next group of questions is why. Now, why is asking about reasons. Reasons. Why? Here are some examples. Why did you go to France? I visited my parents in France. Why did you go to France? I visited my parents in France. Okay, why do you want to learn English? I want to be an English teacher. Why do you want to learn English? I want to be an English teacher. And finally, why are you crying? I am crying because the film is sad. Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm crying because the film is sad. Okay? And then one more is how. Now, how asks about the way someone or something does something. Okay, now, for example, how do you get to Green Street? Go straight ahead to blocks. So how do you get to Green Street? Go straight ahead two blocks. Another example. How do you spell your name? I spell it M-A-R-Y. How do you spell your name? I spell it M-A-R-Y. And another example. How can I reach the top shelf. You can stand on a chair. How can I reach the top shelf? You can stand on a chair. How also asks about a state of being. You know this question. How are you doing today? I'm okay, thanks. How are you doing today? I'm okay, thanks. So this is a state of being. I'm okay. Another example. How is your mother? She's fine. Thanks. How is your mother? She's fine. Thanks. And how is the soup? It is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay? How is the soup? It is delicious. So this is how for state of being. Now another how is for distance. If we say how far, how far, then we're asking about distance. Okay, how far do you live from here? I live three kilometers from here. How far do you live from here? I live three kilometers from here. How far is New York from Chicago? Sorry, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. How far? I don't know. And finally, how far can you swim? I can swim one kilometer. How far can you swim? I can swim one kilometer. Okay, now we're going to try matching questions and answers. So let me make some space on the board. I'm going to write some answers and then I'm going to write some questions and they have to be matched up. Now our assistants will help, but you look first. She was tired. 
Now, you watch and think what kind of question can be for each answer, okay? It's spelled J-A-N-E. I went to England last year. It's the teachers. I bought the blue one. It's the first bank of Chicago. They are in the hall. Ali has one. Okay, now I'm going to write the questions and then you see how you can match them together. Okay? Now, A, who has a motorcycle? This is not the answer. Okay, so you look as I write these. What is the name of that building? When were you in England? Where are my shoes? Which jacket did you buy? Whose pencil is this? Why did Gina go home? How do you spell your name? Okay, now we're going to match the answer to the question. And we're going to have the assistants help us. So what I want you to do is say the answer first and then the question. Okay, now, Isabel, you start. Okay. She was tired. Mm. Why did Gina go home? Okay. She was tired. Why did Gina go home? She was tired. Okay, Ali, the next one. It is spelled J-A-N-E. Oh. How do you spell your name? Yes. How do you spell your name? J-A-N-E. All right. Okay, Susan. I went to England last year. When were you in England? Okay, good. When were you in England? I went to England last year. Isabel? It's the teachers. Mm. Whose pencil is this? Whose pencil is this? It's the teachers. Okay, good. Ali? I bought the blue one. Which jacket did you buy? Which jacket did you buy? I bought the blue one. Susan? It is the First Bank of Chicago. What is the name of that building? What is the name of that building? It's the First Bank of Chicago. Okay, Ali. They are in the hall. Where are my shoes? Where are my shoes? They're in the hall. Susan. Ali has one. Who has a motorcycle? Who has a motorcycle? Ali has one. Very good, thank you. I hope that you also were able to put them together. And now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Who is your teacher? Molly is our teacher. What are you doing? I'm studying English. When does the bus leave? It leaves in 10 minutes. Where are the eggs? They're in the basket. Read and repeat. We use questions to find out something that we don't know. Now I'm going to tell you, my assistant, something they don't know, and then I want you to ask me the question. Okay? So for example, 
I don't know how far Chicago is from New York. I can find out by asking the question. The question is, how far is Chicago from New York? Okay, now, Ali, I'll tell you what I don't know. You tell me the question. So let's try it. I don't know your name. What is your name? Okay, so the question here is, what's your name? What's your name? Okay, now you've got the right idea. Isabel, I don't know who that girl is. Who is that girl? Who is that girl? Okay, now here's something else. Uh, I'll say the answer. We're going to change it a little bit. I'll say the answer to something that you might want to know. For example, I was hungry. Now, the question could be, why did you eat that cake? I was hungry. You want to know, why did you eat that cake? I was hungry. Okay, so now we're giving the answers and then the questions. Okay, now let's start with Isabel. It's on the table. Isabel, what's the question? Where is the book? Yeah, okay. So, it's on the table. The question is, where is the book? All right, now, Ali, here's the answer. It's in orange. What's that? What's that? Yes. Okay, now, this is a long one. Go straight ahead and turn left at the corner. What's the question, Susan? How do I find the market? Yeah, mm -hmm. how do I find the market? Here comes another one. This one, she's my sister. Okay, Isabel. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? She's my sister. Okay, another answer. We're going swimming tomorrow. Okay, Ali? When are you going swimming? When are you going swimming? Okay, so question, when are you going swimming? We're going swimming tomorrow. Okay, I like the purple shirt, not the pink one. Okay, Susan? Which shirt do you like? Which shirt do you like? All right. Here's the answer. It's Yasmin's pen. Okay, Isabel, what can your question be? Whose pen is that? Whose pen is that? Whose pen is that? It's Yasmin's pen. I have a headache. Okay, Ali. Why are you taking aspirin? Why are you taking aspirin? Great. Now, you make the statement, Susan, and Isabel ask the question. He is my father. Who is that man? Okay. Now, Isabel and Ali. I'm having bacon and eggs. What are you having for breakfast? Okay. Ali and Susan. It's 8 o'clock. When is the movie? Okay. Susan and Isabel. It is on White Street. Where is the bakery? Okay, Isabel and Ali. I don't want the pie. I will have the cake. Which dessert do you want? Okay, which dessert do you want? I want both of them. <laughs> Ali and Susan. It's Nix. Whose bike is that? Okay, good. Susan and Isabel. My car isn't working. Why did you take a taxi to work? Okay, good. Isabel and Ali. I came by train. How did you come here? Very good <laughs> questions. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. 
Which shirt do you like? I like the blue one. Whose car is this? It is Michael Schumacher's car. Why are they going to Istanbul? They want to see Aya Sophia. How do you spell your name? M O L L Y. Read and repeat. Now, some questions need two words. Now, here's the first one. What time? What time? We saw this before. What time is the train coming? Now, you know that it means when, but it means when for exact time. What time do you get up every day. What time does she finish work? So this is this uses two words to ask a question. Now another one is for uncountable nouns. So remember some nouns can't have s so we use how much for uncountable nouns. Okay, now remember, no S on these nouns. Now, money is special. Money is usually asked about with how much. Okay, so now, how much was your jacket? It was $80. So this is asking about money. How much milk do you want? I'd like a big glass. How much traffic is there? There is a lot of traffic. Remember, traffic is non-count. It includes buses and cars, but this word is non-count, okay? So how much, how much, how much? Okay, now, of course, if we talk about countable nouns that can have S, then we say how many. How many, okay? The S yes is okay here. Now, for this, for money, for this, we can say, we can count coins or bills, okay? Coins is the metal money, and bills are the paper money, okay? But usually we don't ask that, okay. But how many coins do you have? I have four coins. How many children does she have? She has two children. How many cars are on the street? There are six cars. Okay, now, another one with how, we saw one of these before, is how far and how long. Okay, this is distance. This is distance, and this can be a uh, measurement or time. So, for example, how far is it to Aya Sophia from the Blue Mosque? It's about 500 meters. Now, this is the British way of spelling. 
you know you can also spell it this way. Okay, they're both correct. How long does it take to get there? It takes about four minutes. How long does it take to cook the pizza? It takes 20 minutes. Okay, now let's practice. I'll tell you something. You ask me the question and use one of these two word questions. For example, the answer is, I ate two apples. So a question can be, how many apples did you eat? Okay, Isabel, I want five dollars. How much money do you want? Okay, good. How much money do you want? I want five dollars. I have two pencils and three pens. Susan? How many pens and pencils do you have? Yes, good. How many pens and pencils do you have? I have two pencils and three pens. It's over a thousand miles. Ali? How far is it from New York to Chicago? Oh, you're so smart. Yes. How far is it from New York to Chicago? It's over a thousand miles. Only a few minutes. Isabel. How long does it take to cook an egg? Okay. How long does it take to cook an egg? Only a few minutes. Susan, it's four o'clock. What time is it? Yeah, good. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Ali, Isabel has five coins. How many coins does Isabel have? Yes, good. How many coins does Isabel have? Isabel has five coins. Okay, now we're going to look at the screen and I'm going to ask the assistants to ask questions about each picture. Now, you also can think of questions for these pictures. Now, let's start with Ali. How much is that shirt? Good. How much is that shirt? Okay, Isabel, here's one for you. How many houses are there? Yes. How many houses are there? Okay, good. Susan. How far is England from France? Yes. How far is England from France? Okay, good. Ali, you can do the next question. How long does it take to get to Paris from here? Yeah, good. How long does it take to get to Paris from here? All right, good. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. How many cigarettes do you smoke in a day? I smoke 20. How much is a ticket to Paris? It is $300. How far did you travel yesterday? I traveled 200 kilometers. How long did you stay in France? I stayed a week. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Read and repeat. Sentence structure. Now, questions often have a special word order. So we're going to look at sentence structure with questions. First, we'll look at regular sentences. And usually, this in the simple present or the simple past, the subject comes first and then the verb. So let's look. He likes ice cream because it is sweet. Now here we have the subject he and the verb likes. 
Okay, this is a statement. Here's another one. We went to the drugstore last night. In this one, the subject is we and the verb is went. Now let's look at questions with question words. The question word comes first and then the verb. So here is what the structure would look like. The question word plus the verb plus the subject plus the question mark. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, let's look at some examples. Why does he like ice cream? We have the question word, why, the verb, the subject, the other part of the verb, and then the rest of the question. Now remember, this is the helping verb. Okay? Now, another example. Where did you go last night? Now, here's the question word, where, the verb, the helping verb, did, subject, you, and the main verb, go. Okay, and here's a short one. What is your name? Question word, verb, and subject. Okay, so here's what it should look like. Question word, verb, and subject. And remember that in some you have a helping verb. Okay, now, the helping verbs, let me make more space here. Oops. Put this back. Okay. The helping uh, verbs are usually be, do, or have. Okay? These are very important. We use these a lot in English. Okay. Now, again, we could say question word, helping verb, plus subject, plus main verb, let's say. Question word, verb, subject, and verb. Okay? Now, let's look at some examples. I'm going to show you correct and wrong. So you always do them correct. Okay, now, what team does he like? Okay? Now, look at You've got the question word, the helping verb, let's say HV, the subject, and the verb. Okay? Now, the wrong one, no is what team he like. Where did you go last night? Now again, we've got the question word, the helping verb, the subject, and the main verb. Okay? Now, you cannot do it like this. No. This is an example of wrong. Where you go last night. No, you cannot do this. All right? Okay? And here's another example. When will you see John? You've got the question verb. You've got will. This is actually part of the verb, the subject, and the verb. You cannot say when you see John. Okay? This you cannot do. This is how you're supposed to do it. Okay? All right. Now, let's look at the present continuous. And we'll make some space here. Okay. Now, with the present continuous, the subject usually comes first, and then the helping verb. So, um, now, here is, we can say, the subject plus the helping verb, plus the verbing. You are singing a nice song. So you've got subject, helping verb, and the ing verb. Okay? This is a statement. Another example, I'm going to Chicago next month. Subject, helping verb, and the ing verb. Okay? Now, these are statements. Let's look at questions. 
this changes a little bit. Okay, let's take these away. With the continuous, we have the question word plus the helping verb plus the subject plus the ing verb. So the question word, verb, the helping verb, the subject, and the ing verb. So here we go. What are you singing? We've got the question word, the helping verb, and the ing verb. Okay? Here's another one. Where are you going next month? Question word, helping verb, and the ing verb. These are, word, these are questions with question words. We're going to look at yes-no questions. And yes-no questions can only have, th they can have three answers. Yes, no, I don't know. Okay, so for these yes-no questions, this is how it looks. Verb plus subject plus verb. This is going to be a helping verb. Okay, if it's a normal verb. If it's the verb be, then it's only one. Okay, now let's look at some of the verbs that we use to begin yes-no questions. Yes-no questions. Okay, here are some of the words that we use to begin these questions. Am, is, are, was, were, do, does, did, can, will. Okay, now, here are some examples. Here's one with do. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. So here's the helping verb. Where did my pen go? Here's the helping verb, the subject, and the main verb. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Are you from England? No, I'm not. I'm from Canada. So again, we have the verb only and the subject because this is a be verb only here. Okay? Are you from Canada? Oops, are you from England? No, I'm not. I'm from Canada. Okay, now let's look at some questions beginning with these verbs and I want the assistants to give me a simple answer to each question. First, Ali, am I in time for lunch? No, you are not. Lunch is finished. Oh, no. Is this the bus to, to London, Isabel? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Are you coming to class tomorrow, Susan? Yes, I am. Good. Was the weather in New York nice yesterday, Ali? No, it wasn't. It was raining. Okay. Isabel, were you at the baseball game last week? No, I wasn't. Susan, do you have a pen? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Ali, does your father like to travel? Yes, he likes to travel. Okay. Isabel, did you play tennis with your sister yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. Ali, can you come to dinner tomorrow? I don't know. I think I'm having dinner with Isabel. I see. Okay, Isabel, will you ask the next question? Yes. Are we finished now? Well, no, <laughs> we're not. We're finished this, but we're going to do something different. Now, what we're going to do is I have sentences that are all mixed up. I'll write them on the board. You look, and then our assistants are going to make the sentence. Okay, here we go. Are tomorrow going morning where you? Huh? Okay, Isabel? 
Let's make a sentence. Okay. Where are you going tomorrow morning? Yeah. Where are you going tomorrow morning? Okay. Good. Now it makes sense. Okay. So where are you going tomorrow morning? Okay. Here comes another one. Fairy, leave when does the the island for huh what ali when does the ferry leave for the island when does the ferry leave for the island when does the ferry leave for the island okay here comes another one. Woman is standing why on the the old corner. Huh? Susan. Why is the old lady woman, woman. standing mm -hmm. on the corner? Why is the old woman standing on the corner. Why is the old woman standing on the corner? Okay, here's another one. This one's shorter. To Paris, a uh, bus taking is she? Huh? Is she taking a bus to Paris? Is she taking a bus to Paris? Is she taking a bus to Paris? Okay, now let me make some more room here. We have a few more that we can do because our student at home really enjoys these. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, breakfast for want you do what? Ah, Isabel. What do you want for breakfast? What do you want for breakfast? What do you want for breakfast? Very easy. Okay, here's another one. Toast, eggs, and you do like... Huh? Okay, Susan. Do you like toast and eggs? Do you like toast and eggs? Do you like toast and eggs? Great. Okay. Now, here's another one. Cold weather is the morning this? Huh? Is the weather cold this morning? Yes. Is the weather cold this morning? Is the weather cold this morning? Okay, here's another one. Is this whose jacket? Okay, Isabel? Whose jacket is this? Yes, whose jacket is this? Whose jacket is this? Okay, now we're going to do two more. And then we'll stop with this one. Okay, here we go. Me directions give to you your can house. Whoa, okay, this one's a little bit long, but I know you can do it, Susan. Can you give me the directions to your house? Can you give me directions to your house? Can you give me directions to your house? Okay, and one more, Ali. Night Saturday on home at B U will. Huh? Ali? Will you be home? On Saturday night. Will you be at home on 
Saturday night. Will you be at home on Saturday night? <laughs> okay, good. All right. Now, we'll stop with these, and then you can look and listen. Look and listen. Is there a class today? Yes, there is. Are you going to the movies? Yes, we are. We're going at 7 o'clock. Was your lunch good? No, it wasn't. Were you at home last night? No, I wasn't. I was at the club. Can we go home now? No, you can't. Read and repeat. Listen and write. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen to these words and write them. Number one, what? What? Number two, when? When? Number three, where? Where? Number four. How? How? Number five. Who? Who? Now, check your work. Number one. What? Number two. When? Number three. Where? Number four. How? Number five, who? Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one. How much was your telephone? How much was your telephone? Number two. Where does your friend live? Where does your friend live? Three. How long does it take him to travel to school? How long does it take him to travel to school? Number four. Who is your best friend? Who is your best friend? Number five. When did she go to the cinema? When did she go to the cinema? Now, check your work. Number one. How much was your telephone? Number two, where does your friend live? Number three, how long does it take him to travel to school? Number four, who is your best friend? Number five, when did she go to the cinema? Read this story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Mehmet lives in a big house in Istanbul. His house has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. He has a new car and he drives to work every day. It takes him about 30 minutes to get to work. He is married and he has two children, one boy and one girl. His daughter is five years old 
and his son is 10 years old. His wife is a doctor. She works in the hospital. She is 40 years old and she started working in the hospital in 2001. Her best friend is her sister, Isel. Now, listen to the questions and write the answers. Number one, where does Mehmet live? Where does Mehmet live? Number two, how many bedrooms are there in his house? How many bedrooms are there in his house? Number three, does he have a car? Does he have a car? Number four, how does he get to work? How does he get to work? Number five, how long does it take him to drive to work? How long does it take him to drive to work? Number six, is he married? Is he married? Number seven, how old is his daughter? How old is his daughter? Number eight, what does his wife do? What does his wife do? Number nine, when did his wife start working at the hospital? When did his wife start working at the hospital? Number 10, who is her best friend? Who is her best friend? Now, check your work. Number one, where does Mehmet live? Mehmet lives in Istanbul. Number two, how many bedrooms are there in his house? There are three bedrooms in his house. Number three, does he have a car? Yes, he does. Number four, how does he get to work? He drives. Number five, how long does it take him to drive to work? It takes him 30 minutes to drive to work. Number six, is he married? Yes, he is. Number seven, how old is his daughter? She's five years old. Number eight, what does his wife do? She is a doctor. Number nine, when did his wife start working at the hospital? She started working at the hospital in 2001. Number 10, who is her best friend? Her best friend is Isel, her sister. Very good. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. I really want to make this interview interesting, Alexi. I know. Me too. We're really lucky that my dad knows the coach of the team. Everyone wants to talk to Cody, and he'll be talking to us this afternoon. Everyone at work is talking about our interview with a forward from a famous team. I can't wait to meet him. Well, let's go over our notes and see if we have all the questions we want to ask him. Okay. From my journalist friend, I learned that a good interview or news story answers six questions. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? Okay, well, let's see. I think we have questions that start with all of those. Let's go out to the stadium. Our interview is at 5 p.m., and we shouldn't be late. Okay, let's go. I hope he shows up. I really want yeah. to meet him. Hi. You must be Alexei. 
And Angie, it's nice to meet you. My name's Cody. I understand that you have some questions for me? Yes, it's nice to meet you, Cody. Thank you for meeting with us today. Hi, Cody. My name's Alexi. It's really nice to meet you. I watch all of your games, and I love to see you win every time. Oh, thanks. It's nice to know that you're a fan. I watch your games, too. Oh, that's even better. I have two fans here. So, what about this interview? I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Okay, we're ready. Alexi, do you want to go first? Sure. Cody, I read you come from a small town. What was it like growing up in a small town? Dusty. Seriously, it was very dry and our little farm was always dusty. So, you lived on a ranch with cattle? Yes, a few hundred head. I grew up riding horses and helping my family on the ranch. We grew some crops too, but mostly it was cattle ranch. When did you learn to play football? Ah, well that's easy. High school was a lot more fun for me because I played football then and really liked to play the game from the beginning. What position did you play then? I've always been a forward. I have a strong right arm from roping cattle all those years. Tell me about your four years at the university. You were national champions for two years in a row. How did that feel? We won the national championship two years in a row. It felt great. Now you live in Istanbul most of the year. What's it like living in such a big city? Well, I have to say, it has taken some getting used to. Everything moves pretty fast, and it was really noisy for me at first. But now I'm used to it. This is a more personal question. Who are you dating? Whoa, Angie, I thought you only wanted to talk about football. Well, my friends at school want to know the answer to that question. Some say you are dating Mariah Carey. Others say you are seeing Cameron Diaz. Well, I know both of them, and they're fine women. Next question, please. When are you going to start training for next season? Oh, thanks, Alexi. A football question. Training camp starts in early July for us. Where will you train this year? We'll be in our training camp in Istanbul. In one week, we'll start training for next season. What can we expect from the team this year? We're healthy and hungry for another great season. Our team is going to work really hard for another great year. Last question, Cody, and it's about football. Why do you love to play? Well, the answer is really simple. It's far less dusty than working on my family's ranch. Great, that's it. Thank you very much, Cody. Thanks. Thanks.